This isn't this. This is a uh, a common problem. These little ganglion cysts. They're annoying. They're annoying. And you came to me the first time with this, and it had already ruptured. Yeah. And there's really not a whole lot to look at, was there? Right. And I said, well, if it comes back, you can come in, and I can aspirate it. But there's a good chance if it returns, that means you're probably going to need to see a hand surgeon and have it properly removed. Because these cysts, they go all the way into the joint. Mm -hmm. Now, does it hurt, Doodlebug? Not really. Did I say Doodlebug first time? Yeah. Just Doodlebug. Actually, I'm going to need the, the uh, syringe with that needle. I apologize. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't really hurt, but it's just... It's there. Yeah. yeah. It's just there. And... It's just there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to aspirate this for you again because you've asked us to. But i got to tell you, the odds are really strong that this is going to return. Okay. Okay. So I should expect it. You should expect it. It, it. It'll probably. It may be a month or so, but we're going to go ahead and just get your referral to introduce yourself to a hand surgeon to shake hands with a hand surgeon. I guess that kind of makes sense, right? <laughs> and then um, when when it's time, you'll be able to have it removed. Okay. Yeah. So Gumpy Jean is going to spray some ethyl chloride. This is a really cold spray. Oh, okay. You come. You find a position that works for you, and I'll work around you. And she's going to spray that on there and get it good and cold. Brr, is it cold? Ooh, I guess. All right. And then I'm going to put a little needle in and try to get some fluid out. Okay. Sometimes the fluid comes right out. Sometimes the fluid doesn't come right out. And this time, I think it is coming out a little bit. Is it? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I'm moving the needle around on purpose. Oh, Ooh. did that hurt? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? Okay. Not bad. Okay, let me give that to you. Let's give it a little squeeze and see if, yeah. So. It's really thick, and you can look right here and you can see. See how thick that is? I know. That's why it didn't want to come out through that tiny, we just used a 23 gauge needle, but I can squeeze most of it out because we made, okay. you know, uh, a little opening here, right? So we'll just squeeze out the fluid, and this is basically a lot like um, plain jello. <laughs> Yeah. It's very clear. It's very clear. Everybody told you it popped out on the yeah. in my car. Yeah. So this is uh this is the same fluid as synovial fluid. It's just very thick because it's uh, had a chance for the body to resorb some of the fluid. Okay, well now you have a dimple, right? Mm -hmm. And so we'll put a bandage around that and that'll okay. soften out and kind of even up a little bit. Okay. But like I said, the odds are pretty good that this will go ahead and return. So go ahead and see the, the hand surgeon so they can plan on taking you to the operating room and fixing this. Because it's no fun, right? Well, it's annoying. Yeah. Do you do any kind of special work with your hands? Do you do knitting mm. or glass cutting or... No. Things like that. You don't do any kind of special... I read a lot. I do mm -hmm. a lot of uh, puzzles, mm -hmm. like in the evening. Yeah. But you're not doing some kind of work where you'd be putting extra pressure on your fingertips and things like that. I don't think so, huh? Okay. So this is just something that, that you've got. Do you so, cook a lot? Pardon me? Do you cook a lot? Yeah. Maybe you need to stop cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll tell my husband that. Yeah. So it's going to bruise a little bit, right? You see that? You can yeah. already tell it'll bruise a little yeah. bit, but that's not dangerous. See, it's already got a little bit of Ooh, yeah. in there. So Gumby Jean will kind of put a tight dressing on it keep that to keep it from swelling up. Okay. Hey folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina and it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. Just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great. I love it. And um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. 
If you haven't tried Meta 7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description.